Hey guys, we're here with Torrin Wells, backstage at the 50th Annual Dove Awards. Yeah, and what a party. I know, right? It's been amazing. Yeah, and you performed tonight, and we're nominated. I presented tonight, you presented, okay. and I was nominated, okay. yes. Now, you could count what I was doing on the front row as performing yes. if you used a little creative Absolutely. license. Absolutely, why not? I was turned up. We had front row seats, come on now. It was so good. How amazing is that? Yes. Okay, so what was your favorite thing tonight to see? I think... I think the moment with CC, with Amy, Stephen Curtis Chapman, Michael W. Smith, really special to witness that. Bill Gaither. Wasn't that amazing? His, like the way that he just messes with the crowd mm -hmm. and he's such a pro, so smooth. I'm like, I need to learn so much from you, sir. So it was cool. Yeah. I love how we're honoring what the Dove Awards and what GMA has experienced through the years, but we're also shining a, a pretty bright light on new music and hip hop and new artists. Mm -hmm. So, so you have a new album dropping in January. Yeah, Citizens of Heaven. Yes. Tell me about it. Where's the inspiration? Oh, What's the sound? Oh man, I'm so excited. Okay. I I really feel like there's something special on this album. Mm -hmm. People ask me about the Hills and Valleys album. Like, did you know that song was gonna be what it was? I had no idea and really didn't have very high expectations. I have high expectations for this. I feel like God gave us some special songs. And I got to work with people I didn't even know to dream to work with. Isn't like, God amazing like that? Yes. So Which amazing. I feel like my life is, I didn't know to dream this, mm -hmm. you know? But Rascal Flatts is on the album. We have a song together called Until Grace. Okay. Kirk Franklin's on the album. We have a song called Millionaire, Good Like That. Um, Jen Johnson from Bethel Music's on the album. We have an amazing song called Famous For. Um, Steven Furtick is on a song. Oh, wow. I didn't and know And we have sang. a prelude. Well, he's not singing. Okay. Um, so we're using an excerpt of his message okay. that inspired the song. So some of my heroes, people I've looked up to, getting to collaborate with, has just been amazing. I can't wait for people yeah. to hear it. What is your favorite Dove memory? Uh, well, last year was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. I had eight nominations and wow. I won four. Wow. So, but I also think, <laughs> I think I got like my share. Mm -hmm. So I may not win for yes, the next several will. years. Yes, you will. <laughs> but uh, that was, I mean, just a lot of people don't know this. They think that I just became a solo artist last year. But I was in a band for six years, touring in a 15 passenger van, playing shows. You paid those dues. And, Yes, mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. And so just to see God breathe on this and smile on this, I just feel so blessed and I'm really grateful. If you could talk to a, a young up and coming artist, what advice would you give them? I would give them the same advice Cindy Mooring gave me. That's Leland and Jack and Shelly Mooring's parents, the band Leland. Yes. Um, she said, um, keep your head keep your head down and your heart big mm -hmm. and I just think it's important to not get so caught up in all this stuff happening just like keep plowing forward but also keep that heart for people because it's interesting it seems like really in anything the more success you have it's almost the further you have the opportunity to get away from people mm -hmm. You know, if you're a teacher, you're in the classroom. If you're the superintendent, you rarely see a student. Mm -hmm. So as an artist, I want to be in the trenches with people in everyday life. And so just trying to keep my heart big, my head down, my eyes open, yeah. and, and keep moving. And you're on a headlining tour right now. Yeah! That is mind-blowing. The turn up. Yeah. I can't believe it. And no. people are coming. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to say I'm going on tour. It's another thing for people to actually buy the tickets. But you're selling out. It's Not just crazy. coming. They're, you're selling out. It's amazing. I just, God is gracious, mm -hmm. you know? And it's amazing to see the power of a song in someone's life that they would hear this song at a certain moment and then decide to spend money put their kids in with the babysitter and come out to a show or the college student that's like eating ramen noodles and buying a ticket like I'm I'm just so grateful and to me that's the real win is getting people in the room and experience experiencing God's glory together yeah. 
So I cannot wait to see what God has next in store for you. Can't wait thank to see you. how this album impacts everyone. Yeah, and thank you. thank you so much for coming and spending some time with us backstage. Yes, thank you. You're I appreciate welcome. it. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Thank you. You're a pro. Thank Let's you. go. <laughs>